All right, we are live. Hey guys, this is Daryl Shergan, uh, Quest for Vape, and this is my live coil building workshop on Tuesdays. I'm joined here by Vaping Raven of the Raven's Roast, and um, I'll let him say a word or two about who he is, what he does on YouTube, and uh, what he's about in vaping. Go ahead, Raven. Well, I am going to be coming up with Raven's Roast. Um, it's not a review channel. If you want reviews, you know, come see Quest for Vapes, go on Mike Vapes or somebody else, you know, um, don't see me. <laughs> it's a roast. Um, and I'm just going to have some fun with, with, with some products. I pretty much speak my mind, and if people don't like it, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just tell you how it is. That's awesome. Now, I, I saw the, uh, you have a, a little trailer intro video on your channel. Yeah, I and do. So that's going to be, it's, it's, what exactly is the channel's name? Because there's two, you have two different profiles. So it's Vaping Raven? Yep, it's Vaping Raven. Um, check out both profiles. I okay. Got one that's all just reviews, some coil bills on there myself. And, um, and then I got that trailer. Check out both channels and subscribe to both. I love that one. It's just incredible. You, you're sitting there and you throw something across the room. It's awesome. Kind of like you did last week, which was funny. Some, something about medication is in full effect. <laughs> uh, always. Always. <laughs> all right. All right. Very cool. So um, what are we doing here today? We're going to do a little build. I think I'm going to do a build on the original version one mutation because it's such a timeless, ageless product. But uh, I don't know, any, anything going on other than that? What are you, uh, how were your holidays? Well, not my holidays, you know, I just, Thanksgiving, I just ate, slept. <laughs> Went on uh, the G spot on my Vaporium.net and that was it. All right, awesome. that's cool. That's a, it's a good holiday. No family came over. You didn't go anywhere. Anybody come oh, and visit you guys? I live on a dead end street, uh -huh. and basically, my whole family's on the street. They live across the street, upstairs, um, next door. So <laughs> I'm so always surrounded by family, so that don't matter. <laughs> oh no, kidding! You guys have like the Raven compound, huh? That's it. <laughs> a little bit of a compound. <laughs> Some people call it a street with a cul-de-sac at the end. Others might call it a compound. All right. I'll make sure that if I ever visit you, I'm invited before I try and go down Raven Alley. All right. We got some viewers even out there. Hold on. Let me open the chat and say hello. See who's out there. Are you going to Foxwoods? I am absolutely going to Foxwoods. Well, so ain't I. What's that? I'm, I'm going to Foxwoods too. Awesome. Awesome. All right. That's going to be a fun time. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to, uh, to hanging out with you live and in person. Wow. It'll be quite a bit different if I can't like, uh, log off. So. <laughs> Just might get arrested. <laughs> Hold on one second. If I can find us so I can look at the chats on my phone. All right, there's a couple of guys in chat right now. Chad Charette. Oh, he's 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 on shows a lot. And uh, and Thomas Walzak, I've seen him definitely commenting on on a, a bunch of different shows. Hey, listen, guys, I'm uh, I'm putting the link there in the chat if you want to jump on. All right. So feel free to jump in here. The more the merrier. So 2015, we're winding down the final weeks of this this year. What was your uh, what was your most memorable highlight of this year, Raven? <laughs> hmm. Most. <sighs> Anything great happened this year? Anything terrible? But uh, don't depress me and make me cry because this show is about vaping. Not uh, I'm not Oprah. 
Nah, same bullshit every year. Different pile. How about this? What was the best thing that happened in 2015 for you, in your world, in your life? Um, the best thing? Yep. I don't know. As long as my family's healthy, that's every year, that's the best thing. Okay. Yeah. If you on. notice... Now you have can background you noise. Yeah, I can. I think you need a head, a new headset for Christmas, Raven. I, I need a computer instead of a laptop, uh, tablet for Christmas. So as long as you can hear me. Yeah, but it's like worse than be. It, it was great before. It was nice and quiet. You were coming in clear, but is that yeah, better? Much better. What right. is the what is the advantage of when you're wearing a headset? Well. If somebody else jumps in, then I won't be heard. Then you probably you might hear like uh, Mac Owen and shit. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. All right. Well, listen. If you haven't noticed about me, I'm intentionally positive most of the time. It's not that I'm a chipper, leave it to Beaver type of person. It's that I, hey, I won't share all the ugly bullshit going on in my life if you won't share all the ugly bullshit going on in your life. We make ourselves an agreement on that, and then we could talk about the good stuff going on. Um, so anyway, aside from that, the best thing that happened to me in 2015 was I created this YouTube channel, and, um, and it seems to have taken off. And a lot of hard work and effort and putting in time and energy and doing this thing before anybody was even paying attention, and now it's starting to show some results and that I'm very excited about that. So I have no shame in saying that I'm proud of this project. I started, um, I don't know if you got a chance to watch. I did, a. Is that, what do you got going on over there? Birds? No, that's just my email. Oh, okay. I'm doing a big giveaway every day this month. I'm doing a video a day and a giveaway every day until new year's Eve. And it's going to be kind of fun. What do you think about that? doesn't matter what you think because I'm doing it anyway, but what do you think That's about right. that? That's right. Who gives a shit? Do it anyway. It's your fucking channel. That's right. All right. Yeah. James is going to join us again from Ireland. As long right. as I win, I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So without further ado... Hey guys, all right, let me just say hello to there's Clive, Van Amoon, rest of you guys. All right, cool. Chad Charette quit smoking in 2015. Hey, Trevor from Vaporium, what's up, brother? How you doing? There's Trevor. As in from Long Island Vaporium, like right over here? That's cool. What's up, Trevor? He's a local guy. If it's the same guy I'm thinking about. One of the first guys that ever showed me how to build coils. And here I am doing a coil building workshop. How ironic. But all right, I'll just get into it. No more bullshit and talk from Daryl. Boring you guys. See, I already lost subscribers from chatting too much. But yeah, just a, a quick sneak preview. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff that I'm giving away and more stuff coming in every day. Some of it's going to be mods. Some of it's going to be juice. Some of it's going to be just stuff that I don't use anymore. Other stuff is going to be like brand new right out of the box that uh, companies are donating. But New Year's Eve, I'm giving away this. Authentic, number 26 out of 333. Look at this. Tell me how cool that is. Now, it's, it's not a, a, a feminine thing to vape on a very cool box mod that happens to be hot pink. I will challenge nobody's masculinity. I'll vape on that in a second. I'll expect that next week. <laughs> <laughs> it's even got silver-plated contacts and springs. Uh, That's a I, box, right? I believe this is, no, it's just parallel. It's parallel? Okay. If this was serious, yeah, this would parallel. blow your head off. Yeah. As, a, as a parallel box, it hits really hard. So um, I, I got that, and... I bought it, and I really have no use for it, and it's just been sitting here, and it's a collector's item, but I would rather grow my channel and put that out there as a grand prize on New Year's Eve, so 
I'm expecting this thing to build momentum. Yeah, and, um, jump in. Okay. Oh, good. You keep an eye on chat, and I'll I'll screw around and talk about it. Yeah, come on, Trevor, jump in. Does he know how? Uh, the links in chat. Or hit me up on Facebook and I'll shoot you the link. Hit me up and I'll shoot you, you more than a link. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but I'm going to get going with the coil build. Yeah, hey, Raven, that's awesome. If you could keep an eye on chat while, while we're going. Hey, there's James. What's up, brother? How's it going, man? Fantastic. Oh, we might as well talk about what we're vaping on now that James is here. What do you got? Yeah. What do you uh, got? I'm on the mini box series with a bit of V2 and my own custard donut that I made up. Cool. Very cool. Raven, how about you? What are you vaping on? Uh, well, I got the I got the X Cube two. Uh, I've got my series box, my Z Vape. That green one, right? Yeah, nice, yeah. nice. And I've got uh, my Opus two hundred. Very nice. Cool. Well, I have quit sub ohm vaping and, and I've just gone strictly to a vape pen. Sorry, guys. Um, I want to see the production of this, to be fair. From here on out, I will only be va vaping on starter kits. <laughs> ego twists. Oh, those ego twists. I got a bone to pick with those ego twists. <laughs> That's that's Anakin came out with this thing and it rocks. <laughs> Great. I can't believe how good this thing is. I had some I had some local like uh trick kids doing tricks with this thing yesterday. They were like blowing jellyfish and that's that's awesome. That's cool. We didn't have anything that good when we started vaping. This thing is great. It's a one point five ohm coil. So who needs sub ohming anymore? Well, I still need some sub ohming because that's hey, not. Hey, 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 watch yourself with that. <laughs> and then um, I'm vaping on the, the YouTube mod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. they're going to love that plug. YouTube didn't give you, they didn't send you the custom mod? Oh, hey, I'm sorry. Said, nobody sends me shit. <laughs> that happens when you pass 400,000 views on your channel. <laughs> And then they sent me the uh, the well, YouTube YouTube iPhone. <laughs> then they have like 300,000 to go. Hey, you get you get there someday, son. <laughs> Stick around. Stick around. Ride my coattails. It's all right. <laughs> Raven, I can't wait until you do come out with your uh, roast show, and I'm expecting big things from you because it's a great idea. And if anybody I know could pull that off well, it's you. So, without further ado, I'm gonna give it a shot. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna invest. I'll oh, go ahead. I'll, go ahead. No, I'm all done. I want to see what kind of coil you're gonna uh, screw up on. I, I mean, build. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, that that build last week was perfectly fine. There was nothing wrong with it. It was actually just not ohming out on my ohm reader because this thing's a piece of shit, and um. And it, it, it showed us why it's a piece of shit. So I think I'm going to invest in one of those, like, Coil Master or other, the tabs that they have that are, like, 50, 60 bucks. I think I'm going to get one of those in, in the near future, just so I have something that more accurately reads resistance. Excuse me. Um, I'm just going to... And that's your story, and you're sticking to it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Um, you know what I'm going to do today? I'm not going to... I'm going to install some clapping coils on a deck. How about that? You like that idea? Yeah. Nice short show. Everybody knows that I can wrap coils. I've done it. Now, there's a lot of, there's a lot of different companies coming out now with, like, pre-made Clapton's, pre-made strands of Clapton's. You can buy them in long, straight shots. You can buy them on rolls. Yud has that stuff, and, and it's available. Um, I was recently hanging out the other day with a gentleman and he just uh, 
that's all he does is he's fairly new to, to vaping. He quit smoking, and all he, once he tried Clapton's, he'd never go back. So I want to ask you guys, what's your experience with Clapton coils? Do you vape on them? How do you like them? Um, I normally just twist my own wire. And I've, I've had Clapton's, and I like them, but I don't purposely you know, like make them or I'll go out you know, and buy them. I just twist my own, and I'm happy with that. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. How about you, James? Um, I've made my own in the past and stuff, like, but they're not really my thing. I like to keep her simple and, you know, get the production that I'm wanting from it all at once instead of having to break stuff in and making it right and stuff like that there. Just, like, to jam it in there and fade away, like, that's my whole thing on it, like. So that's as far as, like, making them, but, like, have you ever had a nice set that you've, gotten somewhere or had someone install for you? Have you vaped on them? What was your experience? I've never actually bought a Clapton coil. Now, there is a place in the UK at the minute making making them, but they're called Flapton coils. Flapton? Yeah, they're flat wire. Okay. Yeah, so they are. They right. sound good, so they do, to be fair. I might try them soon. The concept behind the Clapton is taking a wire and then wrapping another one filamented around it to make one ends up looking like, hopefully this is in focus, that. Well, it's not, there it is. Trevor, the uh, link's in chat. Trevor was in, but then he bounced out, I don't know why. Yeah, but. Trevor, yeah. Trevor, Trevor. You're in, then you jumped out. So don't, don't blame us for your screw up. <laughs> <laughs> love, love to have you if you could find a way in, man. The the link is in chat. But um, so the concept behind Clapton's is that there's more surface area and you get a lot more flavor. Um, yeah. The drawback to Clapton's is that you have to push power in uh, to the build to get that. So. Whereas just a regular, this is a five, one, two, three, four, five wrap. These, these two coils are each five wraps. It's a lot more metal, a lot more surface area than just regular wire. So I have to push a lot more power into this. If you're using these on a single 18650 mech mod, you're not going to get the fast ramp up that you would with just a regular straight coil build. So nobody's using Clapton's in cloud competitions and winning. I should say. Trevor um, said that, that it, it said network failed. I don't think, I don't blame the network. Try it again, Trevor. You're already in, and then you, you left. It could be having like connectivity issues, but uh, all right. So I'm gonna put in a set of Claptons that I just got recently. You can build Claptons with Canthal. You can build them with Nichrome. Some people use a Nichrome core so that it ramps up quicker. Uh, any combination of using one or two wires as the center and then wrapping them around. I'm not going to make them. I don't make good Claptons. I have made Claptons. I waste a lot of wire, and it pisses me off whenever I waste raw materials. So uh, I just don't get into it. Not when you got guys locally that have a nice $150 power drill, and they sit there, and they make these long strands. So without further ado, I'm going to drop down right here. Can you guys see that? Yep. All right, Perfect. and then uh, I'm gonna steal the uh, the screen. Steal the spotlight. Am I uh, am I now on the center of the screen? Yeah, perfect. All right, cool. So yes. whether you're using a four-hole post or a three-hole post makes a difference. You're either gonna be sharing the center post, which I am gonna be sharing the center hole. So just to show you how these go in. Nothing wrong with sharing a center hole. <laughs> Raven, Raven's got a lot of experience with that. He could tell you some stories, but... That's it. And by the way, these Claptons happen to have two wires as the center for the core. So you want to be aware of how thick your Clapton wire is and whether, it, whether it, it's going to be able to fit two of them sharing the same post hole. So you guys see that? Those went in pretty easily. I think these are a, 
a fused uh, 26 gauge, two, two strands of 26 gauge with uh, like 36 wrapped around it. It's very, very fine wire on the outside. And these were made by a fellow named uh, Nick Brofman locally here in Long Island. So one thing that really helps with this, bear with me one second while I rummage through my toolbox. Next time you're at the, if this kind of stuff interests you and you want to get into builds like this that are, they're not, there's nothing difficult about this, but you may want to just stop in Home Depot or Harbor Freight or whatever, cheap, none of this has to be expensive. You missed. I missed what? The hole. Missed the hole? Yeah. Where? When you're the kind of person that puts it in their belly button, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I got, I got you. What you're saying there. Generally speaking, I, three times I didn't miss because I have three kids. So somehow I got it right. Even a blind, even a blind dog finds a bone every now and then. Yep. So I did three times. All right. You guys get the idea. It, it's not a bad idea to go to Harbor Freight or Home Depot, pick up some cheap. These are just drill bits. You could use screwdrivers, whatever you want to use. Keep, that way you're not touching the coil, and you can leverage it and kind of horse it into place where you want it to be. Um, I did miss. Is that where you were pointing? Okay, so yep. being that, now I know they're both going to share that center post hole just fine. I, I'll put one in at a time. That's what she said. That's, she said that? <laughs> You know, it's fun doing it. I just don't like it when the balls slam together. I forget about it. Do you get to do? Them? <laughs> That's not nice, Raven. All right, so. Oh, I don't know. I got in the house. Once you get a good connection, bend the wire up and don't mess with it. Don't try and clamp that thing down. You'll, you'll, what you'll do is slice those very thin outer wrapping wires. So now that I have that negative, the negative on the outside tightened down, I can leave that one alone and then focus on the next one. Now see, this one here is going to be a problem if I leave it that length. Because once I get the other coil in position, that's, that end there is going to give me a hassle. So I'm going to snip that right there and get rid of it. You can also pre-measure this one What to do I see you out there in chat, Natty. I'll take Big care Natty's of you out? later. Yeah, Big, Big Natty's, Natty's out there. Oh, no kidding. I'll take care of him later. All right, who's echoing? echoing. Did, did somebody else join us here? I jumped in. Who's that? Thomas. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey. How you Figured. doing? All right. <clears throat> Yeah, I saw the uh, Trevor was having problems. I'm like, hmm, let me see if it's an issue with him or an issue with Yahoo or Google in general. And it's not Google. All right. Good to know that Google's not broken today. <laughs> One of the few days. Thomas, you look familiar. Where do I know you from? Vaporium. Oh, okay. Okay. So Trevor's having trouble. Trevor from Vaporium is having trouble getting in. Sorry, buddy. All right. So so we're build so we're building Claptons today. Not building them, just installing a pair that I had picked up, showing people like because uh, you know as much as we we experience things and we think everybody knows. Oh, okay. Just because I I know this doesn't mean everybody knows. So. I actually had a lot of questions lately about are Claptons worth using? Uh, what about these pre-made Claptons out there in the world that people uh, are selling? You know what? They use, they're, they're definitely worth experimenting with and see if you like because there's a value to them. It's not just hype. What's your yeah. experience, Thomas? Uh, I have a role I picked up from, uh, I think it was Angel Six, uh, Clapton wire from UD, the uh, 2632. Okay. And I use it on all my builds. It's nice. I agree. 
you know, it's definitely for a dual dual mod or higher. A single eighteen six fifty just ain't enough. Yeah. Don't let the ohm readings fool you. It does need you know, you need to push it a little higher than just single than just a single build at the same at the same resistance. Good point. Thank you very much. Validating that. Um yeah, and even even some devices don't don't like to read Clapton's very accurately. Mm -mm. It, it it could jump the resistance could jump around a little because it's not. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, I I, it's, I thought looked at it this way. I watch all you know, you watch all these crypt people building Clapton wire and stuff, and it's like, mm -hmm. okay, that looks nice, but you don't have to build it. I mean. You could just buy the wire. You could buy the pre-made coils. I mean, everybody's getting into them. Even what Tofo's got a line out now of pre-made coils. Yeah. So I don't. I don't particularly feel the need to change the oil in my car. I know how to do it. But if somebody else can do it, mm -hmm. that's great. That's great. I'd rather they do it. How much did you pay for that? Uh, I've I've seen the rolls of you pre-clapped and wire. How, how much? I think it was um, six dollars for a thirty foot or fifth was a thirty foot, fifteen foot. But they have um, Ude makes it in straight Canthal A1. They have fused Clapton in a roll, and I've even seen a couple companies that are making it with uh, Nichrome eighty. Okay. The outer wrap Nichrome. Yeah, so. I've had I've had Nichrome. Um, Clapton's they work out really really nice. Uh, just just don't let anybody. Some of these cowboys out there are using nickel because it ramps up even faster. Yeah, uh, but yeah. it's not a smart thing to do. Right. So you gotta you gotta be mindful of that just because your local legend coil builder is telling you, oh yeah, no, this is great. I do it all the time. It's fine. I, you're gonna get a, you're gonna you're gonna get a great vape off this. Well. If you happen to be watching this now, you know ni ni eighty and i sixty and i forty. That's a, that's an alloy. That's that's nichrome. It's mm -hmm. it's canthol mixed with the nickel, so it, it it changes the nature of it, and it's not as uh, brittle. And uh, anyway, enough said on that. So that's that's a set installed. Didn't take very long. I'd rather do that than sit there with a drill. And waste wire, and when you screw it up, you waste like a couple hundred feet of wire. So yeah, that's and much part nice. of your life. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> so that's that. Now, how do you how do you heat these up? How do you how do you pulse them? As with everything in vaping, you know, don't go crazy. You don't need to sit there and make these. You're not trying to light your house with them. Uh, you're not trying to make shadows on the wall with your. Uh, the light cast from your coils. Just trying to get them. All you really want to know is, do I have hot spots? And that's when some of these coils are pinched up against each other unevenly. So um, I'm going to lower this down to like 40 watts, not less. You don't even need 40 watts to find out if you have hot spots. 30 watts. And I just want to. Power them up, get some heat in there. Oh, it's asking me if it's a new coil. No. Yes, it's a new coil. There we yeah. go. 30 watts. What's going on? Trevor made it. Hey, what's up, Tre Trevor? Man. <clears throat> How you doing? Fantastic. Trevor, you finally made it. <laughs> Trevor's, a, Trevor's a local guy from... Uh, Long Island Vaporium. But Trevor, you know, all right, who's echoing right now? See, that's me echoing now, saying. Oh, really? See how that works. Very annoying. <laughs> hey, Trevor, I, I, I told you I had a couple of people watch my show, Trevor. <laughs> and I was one of them. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. See what you, what you and Jake got started over here with you? Absolutely. All right, is the echo going now? The echo is gone. Thank God. 
Sheep is crow. Sheep is crow. Trevor, it just so happens that I am. Uh, I just installed a set of coils that Nick Brofman made for me. Nice. Yep, he is a good builder. He is. So just when we think we know everything about vaping, people start asking questions, and and this is a new experience for them. So I'm doing a quick install of Clapton's, Hughes Clapton's, on a, on the Mutation version one, which is the old school. Back in its day, this was a revolutionary RDA. Damn what RDA that. is that? The Mutation version 1. Okay. Yeah, ancient by vaping standards. Boy, I get a version only, 1. Only about, what, four months old, maybe? <laughs> I think a year ago, maybe. Oh, that's real ancient. That's, that's antique. Maybe Especially. 14. Before my day. It was around when I started dripping. I remember seeing it. <coughs> I got a V5, that's garbage. V5? Yeah. Uh, ever see it? I don't think so. Oh, you can't see the screen, but that's the mutation V5. It's garbage. This yeah. just looks like a glacier. That's a strange one, that. How tall is that thing? Uh, I don't know the height on it. I don't have something to measure. Yeah, hold that up again. But that's the but that's the deck to it. I don't use it, so looks like the glacier from VCM. Oh, okay. The glacier's a nice RDA. I like yeah. that thing. Yeah, that that's got a lousy F flow. All those holes mean shit. All you need is one good one. Yep. And I married her. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so let's see if I have worked out and pinched out the hot spots. Not quite. So a couple of things you could try is just real easily you kind of brush these filamented outer wraps like that. Yeah. Another th Go ahead. Clapton's like to get a lot of hot spots. Um, one one thing I noticed that's uh, really good for it is if you get like the steel wool brush or like a pipe cleaner with the ends of them, and it uh, gets rid of those hot spots fairly easy. Well, that's a good trick. Another thing, just give it a little wiggle. Sometimes that's all it needs is a little wiggle like that. I also replace my screws with grubs screws. I like them a lot better, yeah. That's a, here's some hot spots. Up. I hope you guys could see it. Sometimes, sometimes just stroking the coil makes it the hot yeah. spot go away too. Yeah. Better like I want to show this so that some newer folks can see that. You see where, like... Up a little bit more. There you go. Perfect. A couple of those wraps are glowing more than the others. And that's just because the electricity is jumping from one and it's not going around. It's going across to another. So just brushing it like that. Like, yeah, Trevor, that's a good idea. With, like, a little wire brush. Yeah, I just learned that trick as of recently because I just started getting uh, big into Clapton's now as well. So <clears throat> we got one at the shop and I was using it and it just ended up working really good. All right. Actually, it's funny because you guys were talking about sub omen before and stuff and uh, I pick up Noisy Cricket and I'm running a .5 on it, but it thing rips, man. Yeah, I, I want to get that noisy cricket. How oh, yeah, was that? that? Little dense, heavy, compact mod, isn't it? Oh yeah. I mean, this is 0.5 Clapsons, if you guys could see. 
battery's running on probably a day and a half already. Could you hold hold that up closer to the camera? Oh wow. So nice little, it's got a hybrid 510, all brass connections, switch on either side, runs in series. Sweet. 40 bucks, can't go wrong. No kidding. You have to build, uh, because it's series though, it has to be 0.5 or above. Yeah, okay, I understand that. Where'd you get that through? I've seen them for like 26 bucks. Uh, Vaporium. He works at a retail shop, so wow. they, have, they have to pay their lighting bill also. Brick and water price. Okay. <laughs> They have to pay oh, sorry. Trevor too. Trevor, do you still work there? Yeah, absolutely. So, okay. I'm uh I'm the weekend night guy though. I do Friday, Saturday, Sunday from morning to close. Gotcha. Trevor was there the first time I ever ever built anything. So it's it's kind of ironic. <laughs> and that was um actually that was Cyber Monday last year. Yep. I came in and bought like the whole Cyber Monday package. Yep, we, had, we had the whole kit. <laughs> came with the Nemesis. I think it was like the clear cap for the IGO W. Some batteries, ohm yeah. reader. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was uh, a monster was born. <laughs> like all of us, man. <laughs> all right, so that's that's the basic gist of it. Let me go ahead and pump this up to 60 watts. Normally, I wouldn't be glowing the coils this much. I can see. I turn the lights down so I can see easier. Um, but I want to show this for the folks out there who have not. There we go. Is it 100% now? But it's good enough. I know I can vape well. Um, I could sit here and play with these for another hour, but there's no need. And then you just you wick them just like you would any other RDA using Texas Tough wicking material. <laughs> Texas Tough. There you go. Damn it, Raven. I still can't, I don't know what I did with all that stuff. I, I have it somewhere and I can't find it. I promise you, I'm not trying to uh, not trying to diss your uh, mama, vaping mama over there. I appreciate that, but I, I can't find where, what I did with it. <coughs> so I'm just going to have to use Japanese cotton. Do you like I'm cotton doing, bacon? Yeah. That's what I'm using. What do you guys all use? Cotton bacon. Yep, that's what I use, cotton bacon, V2. V1 had a nasty taste to it. I never got. I never did the V1. I had to. I was using regular cogent cotton sheets, you know. I use Texas too. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to get any of that stuff because the cotton bacon seems to go so long that I got two packets and I'm still just finishing the first one. Yeah, for six bucks, can't go wrong. No, I use the fusion cotton. Have yeah. you heard of that over there? No. Nope. It'd be a lot like the Texas stuff, so it would. Okay. Ah. Never mind. I do have Texas tough. Ah, oh, see, he found it. Just a matter of determination. Uh, this stuff is tough. It's very brawny. Biggest problem people have is breaking that cotton, and they. You know, you gotta drip it on the coils and and pulse your coils, not fire it, but pulse it so it heats up, and then you can see the the cotton start to, you know, absorb. And once that happens, it's all set. I'm really convinced that this is not cotton at all; that it is some type of lamb's wool. No, it's cotton. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like a native wicks in a way. Um. A lot more stringier, it looks like from here. Yeah, it's like very, uh, it's very wooly. Like native wicks is really finely combed into a thing there. But you know, this this stuff it does last a long time. Raven likes to burn it to break it in. <laughs> right, Raven? He, well, I've set it on fire quite a few times. He likes you can to cut roast that in it. half. I can. Yeah, I cut that in half on an angle, forty-five. What is that? And that's, that? and that's two wicks. 
then you have to trim it. Okay. So what's uh what's all the juice everyone's using? Uh, I got my DIY. See here. <laughs> Good question. Uh, nice. I'm, I'm vapor Dick Nikki B's. Another Vaporium members uh, brew that she sent me to try out. Oh, Nikki does uh, DIYs. I didn't know. Oh that. yeah. Yeah, and the last of dawns until my next shipment comes in for <laughs> door, because she's she's sitting in the bottom a bo bottom of a pit of you know, uni thirty you know thirty mil unicorn bottles. Who's that? Dawn, a door, a door. Hey. She she, we were talking and uh, somebody heard from her and said that her just at one sale she had on Friday. Yeah, for her 120 mils, she's sitting, She's got like a hundred and something like 160, 170 of them that fell. Wow, that's awesome. She did it one day. I'm so glad to hear that because she really has an awesome juice line. And the only drawback is she's a one man. She's a one woman show, so. Yeah, that will get a little hard once yeah. it, uh, the business starts to pick up. But it's good juice. Oh yeah. That's a positive problem to have. I have too many customers. I can't fill all the orders. Okay. Yeah, Daryl, I'm on like the same boat as you right now. I'm using uh, the serum sinful, which is the Fuji apple pie. Oh, nice. That's that other line, the new line from Ronin, right? Yes. And then I'm, of course, using Evolve. <laughs> which one's your favorite from Evolve? Uh, I love the Bursted. Okay. That's good. my old day vape. That's good stuff. I uh, just picked up um, from Captain Delicious that Pignoli cookie. Okay. So good. Same company as, uh, that's that Nanny Roro, right? Yep, yep. Okay. And then uh, what else do I have here? I got all this stuff, cream pie. You, got, you know this one, Trevor, right? Yeah. That's good stuff. And, um... And everything else, I usually walk around with my big juice hoard of stuff. <laughs> Are you going to, uh, was it Philly this weekend? Yes, I am. All right. I might see you there. Awesome. Nice There's a lot coverage. Of, cool. A lot of people going. A lot of people yep. from, from Long Island going. It's about time. <laughs> I love it when I see these guys from Long Island get out of their comfort zone and go drive some miles. Yeah, Evolve's got a van. Everyone's going up in a van this weekend. Oh, that's great. Well, stop by and see me. There's going to be a media lounge there for uh, so so guys like me that have a, a little bit of a YouTube following can do uh, like live streaming. Absolutely, I'll definitely uh, stop by if I'm up there. All right. So this is how you have to break in Texas tough. You have to, it doesn't absorb. I'll show you guys. It actually repels water. Just like a good sheepskin will do, or sheep <laughs> pelt. Kind of have to like. You have to you have to heat the coils to pull the juice in, which is like counterintuitive because you you think you're gonna burn your, your cotton, but you're not, because it's Texas tough. Anything to add to that, there? Uh, that should last. Maybe? That should last you about three weeks, right there. That's awesome. If I left coils in any RDA for that long, that would be great. I, I do rebuild <laughs> them way more often than that, though. But just want to get rid of all the white. And... I feel like I'm wasting juice though so much. All right, it's got it's going to be worth it. The trade-off is I have cotton yeah, for. Try not to pulse it so as so as vaping, just so it heats it up. That's it. Oh, okay. So you're saying I should lower my uh, yeah, my wattage so down? Yeah, just the coil and sucks it in through the coil. And fill up your juice well, and 
give it a rip, see what happens. I think I'm good. What if there's like a little bit of white, but it's on the end? Does that matter, or and that's going to fill in over time, or? Well, it fills in over time, but my OCD, I just cover it all. So you keep messing with it until you got all the spots. Oh, okay, that just. All right. But I've been using it so long; it's it's quicker for me, you know. Once you use it, then breaking in time is nothing. But you're going to taste the difference, definitely. Coming up top here. Ah, it's nice. There's like almost no flavor at all. From right off, right out of the gates. Yep. Almost no cotton flavor is what I meant. <laughs> yeah, you? I don't recommend junk. <laughs> I had to be clear about that. Yeah, I'm vaping pure VG with no flavoring. Uh, just joking. So the Claptons, what they do is give you more surface area and uh, and more flavor and more enjoyment out of the juice that you're vaping. You can taste flavors that you didn't know were in there. Yeah, I saw one manufacturer's actually, uh, one maker selling uh, stainless steel Claptons. Oh, who's that? I saw it, and I've been trying to hunt it down. I kind of caught it once. That might be straight out of Clapton. I know he's been doing a lot of stuff like that. Oh, I like that guy. He's local. Yep. What do you think of that name, guys? Straight out of Clapton. There you go. It's a good name. I gotta get my hands on some of that stuff. Daryl, uh, earlier were you talking about how um, a lot of people don't use Claptons for uh, like cloud comps and stuff? Yes. Um, it's actually just starting to come up now, as of you know, within the last month or so, that they've actually started using Claptons more because there's less dry hits. Oh, no kidding. Because you awesome. can put more juice into the Clapton. Very cool. I like to see that. And it's, you know, if you're using, like, Canthol, all right, that's slow to ramp up. But if you're using Nichrome for Claptons, they ramp up pretty damn fast. Yep. That's, that's Like cool. what I use, I use um, 24 cores wrapped in 38, and then I'll parallel it with uh, 24 or 26 and use that. Ah, because you kind of got like the heating up on the outside, and then the, the Clapton's kind of heat up slower in the mech mods, so it kind of like fuels it. I don't know. I, I tried to parallel Clapton's with stainless, and let's just say it was definitely interesting. <laughs> with stainless. <laughs> yeah, twenty-eight gauge stainless paralleled with the with the Canthal Clapton. And it was a nice warm vape. I'll give it that. Like when it kicked, it kicked hard. You're just going to love Google. Well, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, though, because it's a good concept. It just may be uh, that mix of different metals. Mm -hmm. Like stainless heats up so fast. Yes, it's it does. Like, it like, heats up faster than nichrome, so. Yeah. Yeah, it does. So that might have been a little bit way, like too aggressive. Maybe try Canthal. Yeah. Um, well, I got Nichrome 80. I mean, I could take Nichrome 80 and scissor it in between it, you know. There you go. Cool. All right, that's my build. That's my build workshop. we still got a little bit of time here left. What are you guys, uh, what's on your mind? Anything new in vaping? Anything exciting that you've come across? Any problems, issues, concerns? Well, I got products coming out that I'm going to be roasting. I should have them. Uh, hopefully at the beginning of next week, get the videos out then. All right, I'll make sure I give a positive review right before you do a roast, so I look like an asshole. <laughs> uh, I have somebody that does my editing for me, and uh, he's got his own thing going too, so things are taking time. Also, the videos are done. You're just waiting for your, your production manager. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, that guy's got a couple of things on his plate. I don't yeah, know who you're talking about. Yeah. He might he might have something going on having to do with batteries right now. <laughs> yeah, and that's my production manager. <laughs> I don't know how you book that talent, Raven, but you must be a good talker. No, I guess he, a... he came to me. Getting on to batteries, what do you guys think about the newest MXJOs? The silver and yellow ones, the 3000 mAh 35 amps. I haven't used them. I've got LGs and I've got stuff from Pegasus. Okay, because so that's all I use, and I know a lot of people were having problems with them. That's because they're not really 35 amps if they're 3000 mAh. Which um, is true. They're probably yeah. only like 20, 20, 25. Yeah. MXJOs are rewrapped. Uh, LGs, I believe. Could be wrong. So, yeah, just because it says it on the wrapper doesn't mean oh, it's yeah. going to Yep. It's like you don't believe everything on the internet. <laughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> if they you're. Even, they even uh, re tag LiPo batteries, too, so you can't yeah. even. Them. That's the big DNA 200 issue right now. With I'll tell yeah, you what. The LiPos. I've had zero problem. I know a couple of people have mentioned they had problems with theirs, but I have had zero problems with my SMY DNA 200. Have you have you hooked up with uh, Daniel with that yet? Yeah, I heard he had like issues with his, and uh, I, I know. had issues with his. I'm just saying you should you should talk to Daniel because Daniel might have something for you to even make that even better. Oh, cool. For yeah. the, for I haven't the had software. problems with uh, any of the lipos. I mean, I currently own three DNA 200s. I don't yeah. have any problems with my Opus. <laughs> I mean, I got the Vapor Shark Relo, and I got the the Lost Arts uh, E Fusion DNA 200. Oh, nice. Which are all pretty nice devices. Just the Vapor Shark, you know, it's got the 900 mole lipo, so it does die quick. But other than that, I've had no issues with the lipos. And no, that's that's the big thing. I mean, it's it, it, when you talk about the. Um, the uh, when you talk about the um, the markings on the batteries about rewrapping like 18650s, yeah, you know, lipos are just as notorious for that. Absolutely, and they're a lot more dangerous as well. Yeah. Yeah, you got to be careful with lipos, especially if you let them go too low and let them sit overnight while they're dead. They start losing cells and causing a lot of problems for the battery and the chip. Yeah, I don't let mine get that low, and I. Uh, and I actually charge mine through my cable box, so it's just not a hard charge through, through the wall. Yeah, well, my Vapor Shark, I use my uh, the charger. two amp zip charger for my Vapor Shark. But other than that, everything else is just one amp. And the Relo, I get I get two days on the Relo on the batteries with those three eighteen six fifties. Yeah, I want to get one of those. The Relo I like. That E Fusion one is pretty. That's yep. the square one with the carbon fiber wrap on it. Is that? Yep. That thing is nice. Yeah, it's that. That's my tax return gift to myself. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what? They're not as pricey as I thought they were going to be. I mean, the, the Relo gets a little pricey because you know everyone's going to want to buy matching three set of batteries with them, or if not, you know, six. Yeah, batteries. Well, that's where it is. You end up buying this. You buy something like that. You're going to buy six batteries. Yeah. You know? Sure. And you add all the cost up. I mean, you're still you're still dropping almost two hundred bucks, if not better. Depending yeah, I mean they re at it. for the most part. I think they retail between uh, one sixty to one eighty from what I've seen right now. All right, I just want to say hi to Gizzard. Okay. Oh, wow, got fifteen people. Let me just yeah, that's a good idea. Let me say hello to everybody in chat over there. We got fifteen people on. Nice. Oh. Um, hey, swag. What's up, buddy? Natty, Diamantis, Posius. Hey, what's yeah. up? Um, are you going to announce the winner for last week's contest? Yes. Okay, let me do that. What was I giving away last week? I think I was giving away... Uh, I was a little uh, ego style. All right, hold on one second. Just uh, tell you what. Raven, I'm putting you on the spot. Be interesting for the next 
60 seconds. Putting me on the spot. <laughs> right. <laughs> what the fuck? If anybody out there hasn't checked out myvaporium.net, join that community. It's a great community. Go I actually joined out the other day. So what I, in fact, this morning I got the thing and they accept me in and stuff like it's really good community, so it is like really good. Yeah, we got a lot of reviewers on there that you see. We got Mark Fagan, Mike Vapes, you know, uh, Fresh O3, um, myself, Thomas is on there. Every now and then, Dow stops in, you know. So, questions or something, or you just want to bullshit about vaping, that's the place to go. It's a great community, good people. Uh, sorry about that. The boss called. Never, ever, ever, always answer the phone when your wife calls. <laughs> now you you were showing the uh, prize. Yeah, the this is the Aura Mini. It's not that exciting, but it is for a, a smoker or for somebody using like a Kangaroo Evod or some uh, lesser type of device. Um, bear with me one second. I'm going to ask you to be interesting for another couple of seconds there, Raven. Talk right. amongst yourselves. Uh-oh. Travis said, somebody said that you're vaping on a jet engine. <laughs> <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. No, it's, uh, that's the noisy cricket, man. Like I said, it's only got a .5 build in here. I just got some 26-gauge uh, wrapped in 36, Clapton's in here, 9 wrap, and this thing chucks, man. Very yeah, light, was, nice, warm vape, flavorful. What are you vaping on, Thomas? Uh, I've got my Kato with my iJust 2 in there. Or my iJust 2, sorry, I just switched it to E-Leaf. The Limo 2. The Limo 2? Yeah. And it don't leak. And, and it don't leak when you fill it, if you know what you're doing. Yeah. I haven't had issues with it. And then I got my iStick 100, my Royal Hunter. And then I got my 50 with my support on it. Yes, I'm getting rotation, and I'm waiting, waiting. If 3F vape is nice enough, my tug life will be sitting in a mailbox today. Nice. If with anybody's interested, I'm going to make a shameless plug here. On Saturdays, uh, myself, Fresh O3, and uh, Rin. They might show if anybody's interested in DIYing. And it's that's, on Fresh a, show. that's on Fresh O3's channel, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's a good show. I've caught it. It's very interesting watching you guys all run through your own. I think the day I went on there, you guys were all doing some version of the same type of, uh, I think you were doing like a lemon cake. A lemon cake. Right? Yeah. If you have any suggestions, just, you know, hit us up at that time. Somebody wanted uh, me to make a fruit punch, so I'm going to hit up fresh and we're probably going to do a fruit punch and maybe something else. Do a couple of different juices. Okay, guys, I apologize. I'm having, like, internet connectivity problems trying to open up another window. All right, I got to close out a chat. That was the problem. Well, maybe... I'm getting there. It's just slow. Yes, yes, on Saturdays. You should know that. You're there all the time. What the... Wow. You, uh, Quest, you got somebody asking a question. Oh, go chat. ahead, shoot. Um, yeah, go ahead, read it off. What are they asking? Question? I had to close out a chat so I could do this giveaway from last week, but if you wouldn't mind reading that question, that would be great. As soon as they ask the question. Anybody in, in chat right now who wants to read that question would be helping out. 
Uh, he's asking, how is the Snow Wolf 75? I guess that talking about the new Snow Wolf Mini. It's good. What do you What do you want to know? I have it. It's. Uh, oh, he was gonna buy it, so he wants to know your thoughts on it. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, buy it just to have because it looks cool, or buy it in comparison to like what else was he looking at? Um, it stacks up very well against the other uh, mods in class, like the D2. Uh, you know, which is your preference? They both function very similarly. Um, I think I like this one because it's bigger, boxier, and square. And the D2, it's it's a little too tiny, and I always feel like I'm going to drop it. And I don't like having sleeves, so it's. But the D2 is awesome. The Snow Wolf is in right in that same class. I mean, I would say it holds its own against that, and size-wise. Yeah, I mean, it all boils uh, down to personal preference. Yeah, and I think it looks snazzier too. It's a, it, that Snow Wolf, just the fact that it just looks nice. You know, if you're just looking at it, I mean, aesthetically. Absolutely. As far as charging, how's the charging on it through via USB? I don't. I just take the battery out and stick okay. it in the charger. I don't. I don't yeah. ever do uh, internal Me neither. <laughs> Especially with the IPV, you know, nobody really wants to use a DC five charger to charge any. Uh, you know, 18650. Mm. I've never in my life, other than like a Kangaroo Evod or one of those style, like like this guy, you got to use the charger. But if, if if I could take a battery out, I will. Yep. Yeah, I learned that lesson because um, I didn't have a charge yet when I got my iStick 100. I was using the USB on it. And I was like, oh, yeah, the battery saying it's full. All right, vape it. Watch the battery just disappear. You know, and then it, I got a charger finally and threw it on there, and man, that was a big difference. You know, charging a bay versus through the device. Absolutely. Also, oh, it wasn't fully charging the batteries. Yeah, even though it was reading that it was full. I mean, the the the, the life, you know, the lifespan of, of a single charge was definitely longer. Yeah, I think the e, the, uh, the eye stick only charges them to about three point eight fully, and it'll say they're full and read weird when it's supposed to be at a four point two. Mm-hmm. All right, I guys, I'm going to jump off. i got to eat. Uh, All right, Raven. I will look forward to your call again next week or any time you want to call, Daryl. Just give me a call. Okay, will do, buddy. You guys all take it easy. Mm-hmm. Have a good one, and everybody in chat, you know, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's just so nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, he really means it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it does. I'm almost done with this giveaway. I'm just loading comments from last week. There was quite a lot of views and comments. Just to win this Aura Mini, which, is, by the way, is a really cool... Uh, it is great, so if you know a smoker, you can get these for less than 30 bucks on Heaven Gifts, I think, sent me this. Have you noticed that lately companies like, well... Anakin, Kanger Tech, all of them have started to step back into the realm of offering new devices for smokers trying yeah. to get off. I mean, E Leaf's coming out with one with a revised version of the iStick, and it's kind of side by side, and it's going to be coming out. Good. You know, so. Good. And like Thomas, I think somebody in chat has a question for you as well. Uh, go ahead. Uh, all right, I'm not even going to butcher that. I'm not going to try it because I will kill it. Uh, go ahead. What's your question? Try to say my name. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I mean, it's too many. It's worse. To, yeah, no, I'm not even going to try it. What's the matter? I can't even. Okay. What? Was it that Man. bad? Somebody's being... Uh... No, his name is, it's spelled uh, Demantis Pocus. Oh, I saw Pocus. Uh, Pocus, oh, uh, yeah. I saw him in there before. Oh, Lithuania, okay. All right. Don't let the last name fool you. It might be Polish, but I, other than, you know, 
Yashimash is about the only thing I know. <laughs> All right, we had 139 comments from last week's live coil build workshop where I built the Kennedy RDA. And the winner is Andy Play Rad. Wait, wait, wait. Let me check if he qualified. Yep, there's only one comment, so I didn't try and double post. And he did like. Guys, if you're gonna if you're gonna get into a uh, giveaway, please like the video. Thank you. So he won that from last week. And then, um, all right, you guys wanted me to give away some stuff for this week. Here's what I'm giving away. <coughs> Uh, it's not brand new. It's I did a review on it. The Cloudpour Mini. Who wants to win the Cloudpour Mini? Let me go get it. I'll be right back. I don't know about you, but this is the one thing I like about the the cotton. It, it blows my mind with the with the cotton bacon. It, it vapes itself literally white. Yeah. And dry. I mean, no hint yeah. of what's left over. I mean, mine's That's a little. A little... Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. You. It's a lot like the fusion cotton. The fusion cotton vapes itself back to the white again with the flavor coming out of it, which is good. Like, Oh, shit, James, I forgot you were around. You were so quiet the whole entire time. Yeah, you this work is probably about five days, I would say, on the cotton bacon with a pretty somewhat sweet juice. Yeah, I mean, it, it lasts. I mean, when you know it's gone, it's there, it just won't wick no more. The only thing um, I could say that for whoever's watching this video that if you are using cotton bacon, you have to make sure you use just enough because if not, it does break down if you don't have it nicely in that coil. Mm -hmm. Telltale sign is you go to re-wick and pull it out and it comes out in two pieces and yep. there's nothing <laughs> left in the middle. Uh. All right. So, Andy Play, uh, I'll message you. That you won, you won the Aura Mini from last week's giveaway, and just so you guys can see what that looks like, here is the Aura Mini. This is the one I reviewed. This is the one with the clarinet style mouthpiece. It's uh, like an evolved cardamizer style where the coil actually comes out through the top like that and then you fill the tank and then you close it up and this thing this thing chucks some great vapor for uh for a little thirty dollar starter kit yeah there's a, there's a lot of stuff coming out man that's like that that's step up from those evods that are just work wonderful and they're great for people who need to get off smoking oh my god yeah. this, this is amazing if if uh if something like this existed last year i probably would never have gone to dripping because this is actually a satisfying vape so well, it's, it seemed like a lot of companies, once they started getting into the sub ohm market, it's like they ran rampant with it, and they kind of left everybody else, the mouth, the lungers behind. And it's nice that they brought them back in. They're I don't actually, know what, though. I mean, I was reading Proveri's, uh statistics, and they still say that, you know, 75% of the market is non-drippers, so everyone's mm -hmm. got to commute, uh, you know, give something out there for everybody. Yeah, people are still buying Proveri's, and... Absolutely. It's a 12 watt, 12 watt device. And uh, actually, they just upgraded now with their new upgrade. It's a 20 watt. Oh, really? And it goes down to a 0.5 now, I believe. No kidding. Yeah, I used to have to build like 1.2 or above <laughs> my K fund for that. Yep, um, back in the day. All right, so um, the giveaway for today, for this show, is going to be this Cloudpour Mini which I did a review. It's the actual one that I used in my review. It's not new. I used it for maybe two days. I just I don't have need of a 50 watt temperature control device because I have a 75 watt, a 75 watt, an 80 watt, a 200 watt, uh, another 200. I mean, you know, I, I don't have any shortage of, should I keep going? Hold on. This is just within arm's reach. A 120, a 75. I've, I've got enough stuff that I don't need this little guy sitting around collecting dust so it comes with a jelly sleeve and I'm going to put it away in the box and uh, next week I'll pick a winner out of comments and this is 
this will be yours. It is authentic. God sent to me by Clapper. I don't think anyone's cloning this thing. That's a nice giveaway, right? Mm hmm Yeah, absolutely. I tried. Listen, um, over the last year, I accumulated quite an abundance of uh, different vape stuff, uh, and, and now I, uh, I'm giving a lot of it away in the next 30 days because it's just sitting around, and there's no, there's no value to me to have a collection of... Not like this is, well, hey, Trevor, you want to see something cool? Sure. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing a giveaway this month. Every day I'm doing a video and I'm doing a giveaway. It's mostly going to be juice, but there's going to be some mods sprinkled in. Okay. And the grand, the grand prize on New Year's Eve is going to be, I don't know if you went to the Jersey uh, Expo over the summer. Oh, I was there. Oh, well, yeah. The, the the expo you can't, the vape expo you can't vape at. Yeah, but I went Monday. I went Friday and Sunday, so I was able to vape the whole time. But um, yeah, those are um, those are pretty rare still, man. It's this yeah. is number twenty six out of three thirty three. That's the one with the silver. Was it silver plated contacts and everything? Yes, it is. Yeah, they are right there. Silver plated contacts. This is the nice, female, the feminine version of what's the black and white one. Uh, those the Castigador, those yeah. are those the keys. Yeah. So that that and the Eve RDA, that's going to be New Year's Eve. That's the giveaway. This is my own personal. I bought this, but it, it, you know what? It's so cool. It, but it's sitting around being a collector's item. I'd rather do a giveaway, grow my channel, and create some excitement. So that's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not always only giving away little. Uh, little stuff like this. But hey, you, you, you want to know why this is a cool giveaway from last week? Because Andy Play, the guy who won this, is going to be able to put this in somebody's stocking who smokes and this is his, he's going to he's going to give this to a smoker and hopefully they quit smoking. Mm -hmm. How about that? Um, that's about it. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, that's that's all I got for today right now, guys. So we got a winner from last week. We got a giveaway, the Clapper Mini Plus with temperature control this week. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Um, everybody in chat, thank you very much for coming on here and watching the little bullshit I do once a week. It's very nice to see that uh, people actually enjoy this. Or put up with me maybe for my free giveaways. But <laughs> either way. All right. <laughs> How about we all take a nice big fat vape right now? You ready? Let's go. Later, <laughs> all. Awesome. Take care, everybody. See you, Daryl.